Question 8BII. A uniform plank measures 2 meters long from its ends, point A to point B. If the weight of the plank is 54 newton and it rests on a knife edge 0 0.50 meter from end B, and point A is supported by a vertical string so that AB balances horizontally. I. Draw a force diagram for the arrangement II. Determine the tension T in the string. III. Determine the force F acting on the knife edge. Solution. Now, first, for the first part of the equation, we had to draw a force diagram. So let me divide into two. Okay. We have to draw a force diagram. First, a uniform plank measures two meters long, and uh, this plank is actually resting on a knife edge, and one end is supported by a vertical uh, string. So let us make a point where the string is being supported so it's hung somewhere here so, so there is a string here that is actually supporting this our plank so let's get the plank the plank there this is our plank our plank Now there, is, there will be a tension in this string that is supporting our plank at one point. There will be a tension here. Let's call that tension T. Now, this is the center of this plank. And of course, the weight of any object acts from the center downward. So the weight will be acting from this center down. And that weight, let me write it uh, here so that you will see. That weight, if I put it here, you will not actually see what is there. So let me put it by the side here. But if you are doing it, try and put it uh, down. So I put it by the side here. So that this, this weight of this uh, plank is 54 newton. 54 newton. So that is the weight, 54 newton. And uh, from here, this is 54 newton. So you can this place this sharp end is 54 newton. So you can put it down. Put it down here below it. Okay. Now, uh, another thing is actually supported by a knife edge, and the knife edge is supported 0 0.50 meter from point B. So, if this is point A, and this is point B, so from point B to somewhere here. Okay. And the plank first. First, let's put the dimension of the plank before we do that. Now. We, we are told from the equation that a uniform plan measures two meters long. So from year to year is two meters. So let's do that. From year to year. Okay, let's divide it in terms of uh, from the center. So this center. This is another center. Okay, this is the end here. So from year to year, if from year to year is two meters. So half of it should be one meter. So this is one meter. This is also one meter. So this is one meter. This is one meter. So remember, we are dividing at the center so that we have uh, half of that force, half of this uh, weight. We are the half of this plan. We are the weight adds downward. Now the next thing. Let's go back to where we were. Now and it rests on a knife edge, 0 0.50 meter from. And B. So from this and B, we measure uh, 0 0.50. You know that 0 0.50 is half of one. So we just half of this. So half of this should be exactly here. So let's make a knife edge. So we have a knife edge there. Now, so that from year, from year to year, we have 0 0.50 meter. The same thing from year to year. We have the same thing, so we have from year to year, year to year. That is half, half of this. So we also have 0 0.50 meter. 
so you have that. So from year to year, 0 0.5 meter, from year to year, 0 0.5 meter, from year to year, 0 0.5 meter. So we have been able to represent this diagram as required by the equation. So that is the I, the first part of the equation, I part of the equation. So we have been able to represent that. Like I said, when you are drawing this, try uh, to put it somewhere down here, put it down here, down below the arrow. Below this arrow, you put your 54, or you write your 54 below that arrow. You can see what I'm talking about. Write your 54 below the arrow, somewhere here, here. So I, I was writing my own by this side because if I've written it, I wouldn't have seen what is there. So that's what we have. Now let's go to the second part of the equation. The second part of the equation said, determine the tension T in the string. We are going to determine this tension. It, of course, there will be a tension in this string because it's trying to balance this uh, plank. So there will be a tension here. There will be a tension there. So, and uh, of course, you know, there will be a serious tension trying to pull this down. So we have that. Now, the next thing we have to do here. Okay, let's move on. Now, the next thing we have to do is to cancel the second part of the equation. And how do we answer the second part of the equation? We have to go back to a moment. We have to take moment. So if we are, let's put a statement here. Let me put a statement here. Taking moment taking moment about any of the point but let's take it about the knife edge take a moment about about the knife edge If you take moment about the knife edge, this knife edge, the edge of the knife, take moment about that edge. We find out that, don't forget that according to moment, that the clockwise, the clockwise moment will be equals to the anti anti-clockwise moment I'm sure you remember this okay having done that since we know that the clockwise moment is equal to the anti-clockwise moment now how do we check this at this point at this point if you take moment at this about this point there will be a clockwise moment from this tension T is going to move this way, which means it's going to rotate about the size clockwise. Now, for the anti-clockwise, we take it, the, the anti-clockwise moment, take it about this other weight, the weight of this, uh, of the plank. Take it about the weight. You see that it's going to go this way. So, we are going to have something like this. The distance from here to this uh, tension, where the tension is, distance from here to where the tension is acting. If you add up that, you have that to be one meter plus. From year to year, we have 0 0.50 meter. So that will give us 1.5 meter. So that will give us 1.5 meter. So that will be the distance from this point to that tension, this tension we are considering. So that will now be, remember moment is the force times the distance force times the distance we are taking the moment about so the tension which is our force now times that distance to where we are taking the moment that is 1.5 meter which is equals to 1.5 meter now let's go over to the other one let's go over to the other part now let's go to this other side like i said now for the anti-clockwise taking moment about this point using this uh weight the weight now is going to go this way so from year to year is 0 0.5 you can see we have 0 0.5 meter this 0 0.5 meter we have 0 0.5 meter there so and we have 54 the weight times 0 0.5 meter so when you do that you divide both sides by 1.5 you have your t to be equals to 54 times 0 0.5 divide this by 
that 1.5 if you divide by 1.5 divide this by 1.5 you have that to be equals to 18 newton just make k t the subject formula you have 18 newton now 18 newton is the tension we are asked to calculate in the second part of this equation now for the i i i i i i the third part of the equation now we are asked to solve we are asked to solve for the force acting on the knife edge there is a force acting on this knife edge which is we are asked to solve for so how do we find that force now remember that uh, at equilibrium the sum of the upward force is equal to the sum of the downward force that the sum of the upward force or the force acting upward is equal to the force is acting downward so our tension is acting upward now if the weight of the body is acting this uh, plank is acting downward there is a, a there is a, a force that is also acting upward here so that force is what we are asked to find so we are going to uh, at equilibrium for this object for this plank to actually remain at equilibrium that the upward forces must be equal to the uh, downward forces so let me just put that here so that you remember why you are taking down this now at equilibrium at equilibrium comma we have that the the sum of the upward force or forces rather is equals to the sum of the downward force forces downward forces now if that is true the upward forces are the tension acting upward t plus there is a force here remember weight is acting down there is a force like i said there's a force f let's call that f that will be equals to now the sum of the downward force the only downward force that is visible here is the weight of this uh, plank which is 54 54 newton so we go ahead remember we got uh, our tension from the first part of the equation we got our tension to be 18 so this is 18 plus f which is our force equals to 54 now make uh, f the subject we have 54 this is 54 minus moving this 18 over minus 18 so when you do that you have this to be equals to subtract that 54 minus 18 you have 36 newton 36 newton so that is the uh, force we are asked to calculate the force acting on the knife edge this edge that is the force that is acting on that knife edge okay uh see you again in the other parts of this uh, video when we'll be solving more questions like this